Hi, my name is Aaron Linsdow. I'm a polar explorer and motivational speaker. It's review day! Today I'm going to review the Blink X-T2. This is the upgraded camera from the Blink security camera system. I'm going to do a, a overall usage, a video, show some of the different uh, abilities in this thing, and do an unboxing for you. So let's get started. did a video a little while ago about the Blink camera system and sure enough a new upgraded camera comes out with two-way radio. This is pretty cool. So you can actually yell at people at your doorstep or wherever on your property if somebody knocks hello you can actually check your app and talk to them. So this actually eliminates the, uh, the theoretical need for the doorbell things. The doorbell things are really cool, but they do get stolen. So what I'm gonna do is do an unboxing, hook it up to my smartphone, link it into my system, and show you how it works and see if we can learn how this works and see if we can get a, a night vision test in here and everything. So let's get this unboxing started because a lot of people are asking, hey, what's in this package? So I've got my handy dandy box cutter here. We're just gonna slice this plastic which we will of course recycle if at all possible and we'll get this guy going get this trash over here all right so this goes a new slide off sort of deal i think yeah there we go okay so it slides off there now i've already got a whole blank system and so I just bought an extra camera just to see what it was like. So we're gonna open up the container and hey, check it out. It has a little bit of foam. It's definitely a little bit different setup than the previous blank units. Whoa, stuff's falling out already. Okay, it has a couple of screws. Uh, looks like some sort of mounting deal. What else? Oh, hey. They have vastly improved the mounting system on the camera. That is so nice. I mean, check that out. So they've got a, a little ball head that moves around. It's pretty sticky. And it looks like a different style mount to, to put on the wall. So that is a huge improvement. The camera, at least to me, looks the same. But the, you'll notice one extra hole, and that's probably the, the speaker because the camera or the cameras already have a microphone in them so when they record you can hear what's happening let me tell you that's really really handy let's see what else is in the box here looks like a couple of double a batteries they've changed it so they don't have as much cellophane which is really nice not a lot of garbage there and anything else in the box can't really get that out so i will assume not Okay, so it's not meant to come out apparently. Hmm. Okay. And it also has a inst an instruction manual and a protected by blink sticker, which for security systems, you want to let people know you have a security system, but you don't want to know what it is because that can actually give them the chance to hack you. So it comes up with a, a camera device how to get started, install the app, follow the system. Uh, let's see what else, follow the system there. Connect to your sync module, add your cameras, complete the setup, experiencing trouble, lithium batteries, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so nothing terribly exciting. So we've done this setup before and I will put a link to my previous video below so you can go check out my more complete review but I'm just going to crack this bad boy open right now. I'm going to add the batteries and to show you what it's like. So the key to opening this unit is this little hatch deal. So you slide the hatch down, you pull off here. Come on, let's see, come on. Push, oh, sorry. <laughs> Push down this direction, lift on bottom, and voila, this opens. Now I made the mistake in my last video of showing my security code so somebody could actually hack my system. So I'm going to hide that. So you can see 
inside what the back looks like. There we go. Pretty cool. And all that, all that is is there is a switch. Let me make sure that's covered. There's a little switch in there that uh, has the LED. I like my LEDs to be off. I don't want to let people know I'm recording. Not because I'm a creeper, but hey, if I ever have a problem, I uh, don't want to announce that, hey, by the way, so some people have, have the belief that, hey, you want to know people are being recorded. I, I don't know. I've, I've got warning signs up. So I'm going to put the battery in the case. So this is literally all that came in the, this box. Batteries, two mounting screws, uh, screwy mounting guy there, a plain Jane mounting item there. And that is literally what is in the box. So the question of, hey, what's in the blink box? Now, you know, pretty handy. So let me get the batteries into this unit. All right, so get the batteries into the unit. Here, you just put them in like normal. Uh, one thing is they only recommend using lithium batteries simply because they will last in the cold and they will last a long, long time. Oops, I forgot. <laughs> I have to link this thing to my system. I'm so excited to get this new camera. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up the app and I have to make sure it's not going to show any of my security info to you inadvertently. There we go. So uh, there's the app and it shows my home, my garage, you know, all that sort of thing. So I am going to uh, add a device. I'm going to scroll down and you're going to see a add blink device here. I'm going to add a blink device and it says before you begin, remove the back cover, you know, blah, blah, blah. I hit the ready button. And now there's a serial number on the back, which I'm not going to show you because that would allow you to potentially hack my system. And I just show it up front. It's got a QR code. It looks for my camera. And now it's going to add my camera to the system just like that. I literally zap the barcode with the QR scanner and it is adding the camera. So now it is updating the firmware. The app is updating the firmware. And now the camera is added to successfully to my system. So I will hit done. And cool, check it out. That is cool. So let me put the back cover on here again. So you just uh, put the back cover, you lock it in there. You click it down and you make sure all sides are clicked. Doesn't sound like one side's clicked. Huh. I seem to remember the other one latched better. Let's see, let's try that again. All right. All right, good, okay. So it might just be a molding issue. All right, so get to know your XT or X, yeah, XT2 camera. So it says uh, your new XT camera 2 includes a speaker enabling two-way communication. Hold down the talk button during a live view session to talk, release to listen. Use two-way talk requires a microphone access in the Blink app. So you have to grant access to your microphone. And depending on your type of phone, my iPhone says, hey, do you wish to grant access? Of course I do. Okay, cool. So now I'm going to rename my camera and uh, I'll do that. So settings, live view, rename, change camera, oh, mic cam, camera. And that'll just be a temporary name. Let me make sure it doesn't give any security info. And now you can see in here I can rename the camera, I have settings, I have live view, and I can take a photo. So I'm going to take a photo right now with this camera. So we will, uh, let's see if I can do this two-handed. All right, gonna do a big smile. All right, okay. And it is acquiring a picture, and the camera now took a picture of me smiling and showing my laundry. Oof, well, there you are. 
So <laughs> you can see my laundry room. That's pretty exciting. Nothing too, too bad there. And now we're going to do the live view test. Now, ah, oh boy. I don't know. We'll, we'll just try it. And I mean, I'm going to record and talk, so it's going to be kind of awkward, but we'll just see what happens. So I'm going to hit the live button there. Let's see, I'm going to hit the live. Okay, all right. Okay, so here we are recording. I've got audio. So check it out. This thing here is me. All right. So it's got a little bit of a delay, about a one and a half second. So now we're going to talk. Hello, who are you? There is an echo. But that's how much lag. There is. There is. And now I've released the button. Now I've released the button. And I'm listening. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Alrighty, so this camera definitely does work. It has the ability to talk. It's not incredibly loud, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go do the infrared test in the bathroom. So I'm gonna uh, take one of these cameras. Yeah, I'll, I'll take the camera in. I'll do a recording and I'll record it and show you what it's like. So let's go check out how the night vision does on this camera and we'll see what happens. So that mic setting, pretty cool. I could talk to myself, which I do all the time, but whatever. All right, let's go check it out. Okay, we're here in the bathroom, obviously plenty bright. That's not that exciting. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the lights off and I'm gonna bring the app up and I'm going to tell the camera to do a recording and we'll record a picture in the complete darkness of the bathroom and then we'll record video in the complete darkness in the bathroom and we'll see what it looks like. Okay, so ready? We'll shut the lights out here and you can still see me in the glowing screen. So I will turn the brightness all the way down and I will begin with a picture. I'll hit the picture button. Okay, let's see what it comes up with. Cool, check it out. The camera got me in infrared black and white showing you stuff. So now I will turn on video and hopefully it'll begin recording in a moment. Let's see. There we go, it is live. The camera is recording, so let's save the video. Just to show you what it looks like, it is super dark in here. It is not black, but hey, how's it going? There you go. So that is the security system there. It is able to record in incredibly dark conditions because it has a uh, infrared thing. So I'm going to put the video in an inset just so you can see it. And then I'm going to hit uh, continue. Cool. The video is now saved. The video is now saved and now I will put that into the video and hopefully I'll be able to synchronize the audio so you can see what it looks like. That is pretty cool. So uh, one other test, uh, the, the microphones, so you've heard that so I was able to talk and you can hear me. I mean way, way cool. So what I'm going to do I think is set up the cameras so you can see the microphone and I'll be in another room. I'll synchronize my video cameras so you can hear the audio and see what it looks like. Okay, so now this is the most interesting test. I'm going to take my other synchronized camera into another room. I'm gonna use my phone. I'm gonna talk into the microphone. We'll do a recording so you don't hear that weird echo. And we'll see what it's really like and with the camera synchronized, hopefully you'll be able to see the lag. So I'm gonna grab my camera here. We're gonna, I'm gonna walk out of the room and do the recording and the, the video camera or the security camera will do the microphone. It's a whole convoluted thing, but you'll see. It'll be pretty cool. Hello, who's at the front door? Please tell me your name so I can decide if I want to communicate with you. Okay, so there you have it. I just did a recording in the other room so there wasn't any echo and we listened with a lavalier mic, mic to hear what it sounded like. I was able to talk. And of course, there's nobody here to talk back, but that's pretty handy because I was able to speak into the camera. I've got the recording. I will place the recording into this video 
and wherever it makes sense. You can totally see that the new Blink X-T2 completely works. That was way cool. And now I've got two-way communication with my security system. And anywhere I have decent internet, I can get online, see how my house is doing. If somebody's at the door, they're knocking. I can punch in and ask them a question. They can talk to me and I can be somewhere else on the planet just so I can manage my home. So the, the Blink system seems to keep getting better and better. Uh, by the way, Blink or Amazon that owns Blink does not support me. I don't receive free cameras or anything for these reviews. I'm just doing them to share my experience with you to show you you might uh, find this useful. My name is Aaron Lindsdow. I'm a polar explorer and motivational speaker. Please like and comment on my video. Scroll to the bottom of your phone, add a comment there, and hit the like button if you don't mind. And then also under the video, you'll find links to the camera, uh, the, the microphone, everything that I used in this video as well on Amazon. Just click the little arrow at the bottom of the video, expand it out, and you'll be able to check out the links to this camera and everything else. Please uh, subscribe to my channel. It helps support me doing this so I can bring more information to you. Also support me on Venmo and PayPal, links below. Thank you very much for watching.